Okay, we'll start with the standard emerger hook or a clean camera hook. You've got olive shear tying thread. We'll just attach this at the front and we want to put just an ever so slight foundation at the top here so to give the post material a little purchase we go to there and then come back two or three turns uh, for this size 10 we need two strands of para post and what we want to do before we put these in is we just put the two together we give them a little brush you see that the fibers tend to get knotted so we just give them a little brush to open the fibers up like that and what we want to do is leave enough out the back of the hook that we can grab hold of it so we go over two or three turns just check that it's in the right position that's good and then we'll go back nice neat touching turns and just as it starts to go down the bend open up the fibers at the back and take our scissors at an angle we want to trim this to a very fine taper like that this will give us our body shape so we spin our tying thread anti-clockwise to flatten it and then we'll just work our way slowly back over the ends here to get the taper there we are and then we can go up over that back up into the post and look at the post that's good for this size maybe a couple of turns just to bring it a little further forward then we go in front just as a stopper and then we go back down and just make that taper a little more easy don't forget to control your thread just go down now right into the bend this originally this was tied on very big hooks on size 6 hooks uh, for fishing grailing here in Norway uh, then we want to need some super fine dubbing uh, you can choose whatever colour you want but olive brown grey are all good colours so I'll take some light olive and we'll just start that off up here and we want a really nice taper on this starting super fine and getting thicker and thicker as we go up towards the thorax so we'll just make a couple of turns to catch in those first fibers like that and then we'll twist all this up once that's anchored against the hook shank now you can dub this so it's just a regular smooth body like the image in uh, in my book or you can do it this way to give it a segmented body so we just twist this up nice and tight then if you're doing it this way and you don't have a rotary vice what you have to do is you have to hold on to the dubbing and you have to go around like this and you see that segmentation coming in now but if you've got a rotary vice what you can do is twist up the dubbing nice and tight and just hold it to move that a little closer and we rotate our vice there's great uh, possibilities with a full rotary or a true rotary vice and we can go all the way up and you see the body getting the nice taper on it now we go all the way up here 
I'll just tighten up that last little bit. There we are. Now we come in there, we'll go up to the post, and then we can begin to wrap, take hold of the post. And once again, we can control our thread here, make it flat, then we'll cover more of the post, post base. Now this is base is so you have something of a solid foundation to wrap your hackle on later. So we go up here and on a size 10 like this we need a a good hefty hackle to get it to float correctly. And once we get high enough up and you've got enough space here to wrap your hackle what we do then is we wind back down like this and we can go in front and just support that then we want to go back here to there and I've got two peacock hooks I want to tie these in at the rear here for the thorax and just go in here like this Now I like to use silver or golden badger hackles on my larger cling cameras and we want to tie this in with a cross in tying so from right left to right right to left and then we can come in here and we can go up the stem again the wing base securing the hackle and then back down and then we come under and we lift the stem and go forward it's a little too long so we trim that off we finish at the hook height then we take our peacock curl and we can wrap the thorax starting right at the back close to the abdomen a nice bushy thorax on this big fly Go in front of the post, forward, three turns behind, we pull back the peacock curl and we go in front, three or four turns, this will lock it all off, and we take our whip finisher, put one whip finish in, then we'll come in here again and we'll go one, two, remove the arm but keep the hook in there. Take a dubby needle and just put a tiny bit of varnish on the thread like that and then we tighten up and that's nicely varnished. We remove our tighten thread. And then we can remove the surplus peacock curl, take our fly and we turn it around in the vise so it's vertical, tying thread again, go on to the post and We'll wind our thread down right into the thorax. That's where we want to end up with the hackle, like that. And then we can take our surplus tying thread, remove that, hang our tying thread out the way. Then we can take our hackle. Now, on occasions, you get your hackle won't go the way you want it to. So what you do then is you just take a plier and you adjust the hackle accordingly. Just hold it like that and then you can turn it into position. I'll apply a hackle plier. Now before I go in with the hackle plier what I want to do about here is remove 
some of these fibers from the hackle. This will give me a nice clean stem to tie off on. So start right at the top of the post and each turn has to fall tight into the previous but underneath it. And I prefer a little larger hackle on my uh, parachutes, especially on the emergers, than recommended normally. I feel that they, uh, they give a better presentation and a much better float much longer. Now you can see I'm coming to the end of the hackle and there's the bare stem. So now I can release my tying thread, go underneath all the hackle points, same on the other side. Once I've tied that stem off from above, I can go in underneath the stem and secure that like so. I can go in with our scissors remove the surplus hackle, trim off the post to the desired length. It's best to trim that a little longer, not shorter. Longer you can repair, shorter you can't. And then we'll take our whip finisher again. Now what we want to do is we want to go under all the hackles like this. on each side and again before we tighten little varnish there and pull it in. I can give it one more just for safety's sake. Go under like so and tighten in. Remove your tying thread, remove the fly from the vise again, turn it around, and that's the finished clink hammer. If you enjoy the videos, please like, share, subscribe, and thanks for watching.